Hey guys, I'm back. All that really took was just me hitting the record and then hitting it again. The record button that I have that I set fraps to record to. So, pretty much, I'll be going down this little uh, corridor to show you what I have made currently already. Um, I actually want to go grab this iron. One moment. I'm getting a little bit of lag or frame rate or something. Alright. There we go. Frame rate went back up. Come on, iron. Thank you. Okay. So, I had made a special cart. Oh, there it is. Hello. And I have to take the junk out. Oh, fudge. I have to take the junk out of it or it just goes back and forth like crazy. It's kind of irritating, really. No. Take the junk out. Ah, got it. Okay. So, it, it'll be coming back the second it hits the obsidian. Or it should... It mined the obsidian? What? No. No. Stop. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. No. Okay. So, I took the gas out. It should run out soon. Come on, turn around. Technical difficulties. Turn around, please. Come on. Come on. Come on. Because it has an iron drill, I thought it actually was not even going to be able to mine the obsidian. Come on. Hey. 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 I'll be right back. I just very simply destroyed it. Okay. <laughs> so, um... Which one is that? This is my better one, which I just had recently built. So this is the perfect time to show off exactly what I was going to uh, do with it. So what I had put in it is, if I can read it off, the previous one, I had a standard hull, which is just some iron. I'll show you. Hull. Because there's multiple hulls. you got the wooden, the standard, and the reinforced. The reinforced is way too expensive because it requires reinforced metal, which is... Uh, mess and hardener and hardeners, diamond and obsidian. I'm like, no, I don't feel like dealing with this. So I just very did the iron one. It's kind of easy. Nothing too special about it. And then um, after that, I put an engine in it, which you can just very simply look up. There's a lot of stuff, so I can't really look them up all. Uh, iron drill, which is just making a crafting table. A railer. Um, a railer, which makes it puts rail behind it so I can ride on. Uh internal storage height controller so I can tell it what various heights to move on so if I put my um, my what was that whatever so if I put my uh, better one which has standard which has the hull the coal engine the iron drill I put a torch placer as well as multiple chests internal storage and top chest so it wouldn't be turning around so fast so if I believe if I put it like thick dang it if I put it in, like, th turn around. There we go. So, interesting. So, we have the top chest and the internal chest. Uh, that's the height I want it to mine at. I'm actually going to... Uh, I'm going to destroy it and go put it at the end of the trail that my previous one had dug. Because what I had done is this. I kind of told it to dig up and then dig down. So... I feel if I set it off on its own, telling it to go nine, it'll like do something weird and it'll um, try to place blocks or some junk like that. I'll mine this all in a minute. Uh, so basically, I put it down. I tell it to go this way, and then I put the. Uh, I don't have any gas in it. I don't have any gas on me. I just have a little bit of coal. Okay, that's okay. That's enough. So. You can see it started mining. Pretty much what it does, it goes into the wall and it just starts digging a 3x3 three three hole. I'm currently going to put the tracks I had in the previous one in here. So it'll be able to put tracks behind it. As well as keep moving forward. I, I don't have torches either. Fudge. I'm not really underst understanding what the priority for the drills mean. I guess, it, I guess it's just how much energy it'll take up. Because I don't... Yes. No? Yeah, I guess it's how much energy the d the drill will take up. So, oh, fudge. So, basically, I'm just going to be telling it uh, high priority because that's the only thing I really want it to be doing. It currently has a torch placer, which I can only put ten torches in, unfortunately. That's interesting. 
Okay. Well. I did not know that I put torches like that. That's very nice. So pretty much it will be put torches down for me as well as rails and then everything that it digs will end up in the internal and top chest. Its height control is at 10 currently, which is uh I'll show how, I'll show you how to build the height controller because it was a little important, well, pretty important, not a little important at all. Um height controller. Here we go. So basically you would go into a crafting table, just make a compass with some paper and then simple PCB. This uh, little green, black, white, gray thing has to do with this mod by itself. It doesn't come from any other mod. It's very simply made with just some uh, either it's just gold, redstone, and iron, either this or this pattern, and you get one. So most of the things that required to in for this mod require that. I'll, for example, show the torch. Well, well, first thing. Oh, it's really nice for those of you who have Feed the Beast. I, I'm sorry I keep talking and talking. But um, uh, when I go back up to the, uh, what's it called? The um, I'll just speak while I'm mining things. Once I go back up to the cart builder, which I will show you guys in a moment after I'm done explaining the cart, um, there are these little things on the side in which you shift click or just put your stuff into. And these little things, they... Um, they have certain names, for example, attachments, the engine, the add-ons. <coughs> Sorry about that. Stuff like that. So, for example, if I go down into the search bar and I hit add, you'll see type add-on right below the actual importance of it. So, the add-ons that I currently have are the height controller because I don't really need anything else. I'm not ex exactly sure what the melter or the extreme melter does. The Divine Shield, I guess it just protects it against things, but I'm not really sure what would be attacking it. Maybe against Lava. It has a crop, so it has a Nether Wart crop. It has Projectile, Egg, and Potion, so I guess you can make it shoot things as well. It has a Trunk Loader, so you can probably have it traveling alongside certain items. For example, the, um, uh, the DLHR, because it requires someone to be with it. Um... Also, other than just the add-ons, I believe there are, are things such as attachments, yes, which is what the large railer and the railer are, as well as the torch placer. So the large railer, I believe the only difference between the railer and the large layer is probably the layer only gives you three stacks supported, and the large layer probably gives you just six. So, basically, um, if I go in and I will show you how to make it, there are a lot of different attachments too. There's advanced control system, shooter, advanced shooter. I was going to make like a shooter or something, a defense cart, I think it's called. But I'm not sure if the whole mod is fully integrated yet because the recipe to make the defense cart was not included in here. All the things required were not here. I'm not sure why. So we have the large railer, which is uh, two smaller railers with iron and a track. And you make a railer with uh, iron, track, and smooth stone. So with my resources, that wasn't really too much of a big deal. Then the torch placer, which I found to be pretty useful so far, because it puts down these torches, is um, iron with the tri-torch. Tri-torch is this very simple, three torches. So that is mostly how I made this, other than the engine, which I can show you in a moment. Um, okay, so we have engine... Engine, 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 engine. So you can see here there's coal engine, solar engine. This isn't on the surface, so there's no point in putting a solar engine. You got a tiny coal engine, which I put a full coal engine because why would I put a tiny one? It's weaker. Then you got the basic solar engine and the compact solar engine. Um, I, that's something else entirely. I was wondering what the heck this was. Oh, well, okay, never mind. <laughs> That'll be for a later time. Um... Basically, all this lets all this does is it powers it, and that's what it does. So it lets it move forward. Whether you put coal, charcoal, any type of coal in it, it'll move. Um, it needs torches. Oh, look, Mysterious 64 Torches. I wonder where they came from. Okay, so, basically, <laughs> basically,
basically I have the uh, my previous one only had an internal chest so things were getting filled up the top chest will help out I was actually wanted to load it with every single type of chest except for the fact that the drill got in the way of the front chest and the side chests the torches got in the way of the side chests so I had to sacrifice for a few things um, I will probably be showing this mod again later sometime when I make like a fully decked out super drill hull. I didn't actually show you how to make the drills yet. Uh, there are multiple drills. You got the basic drill, which is actually pretty expensive, and the iron drill, which is the cheapest one. The Gal, the Galgadorian drill, which is the best one, and then the hardened drill. So I think the way it would go is the iron drill, which is very basic, just like this. Then you got the basic drill, which is diamond and iron. Then you got the hardened drill, which is a basic drill, plus reinforced metal, plus. So it's a ton more diamonds. Then you got the galgan drill, which is a hardened drill with more diamonds. And the enhanced garden, which I don't even... Yeah, exactly. Ex what? What? What is this? What? I, I don't even... So you can clearly see uh, that actually looks really cool. My um gravity gun, which I think is from Half Life. I don't know. It looks like it's from Half Life, but uh, so that's that. Um, that's pretty much all I wanted to be showing currently. I'm gonna quickly run back on screen recording to the um the cart the cart maker. And I'll show you exactly how that works. Now I'm getting some frame drops. Why? Whatever. So I'll show you how that works. In one. Did I just. Gold. Gold is very good in Railcraft. So I have to like connect, collect as much as possible. Come on. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme, gimme. Thank you. Okay. So we were on our way back. I have no clue why I've been making that noise recently. I'm sorry if it irritates a few of you or something. So let's go back up. I'm just using a regular old furnace cart for this because I don't know what else to do. There is apparently a not a, it's like a driver's seat seat yeah seat it's an attachment so uh, I can make some carts that apparently transport you at a really fast speed or something I'm not really sure exactly what they do um, but it's just my guess so that was the way back up a uh, little information on these blocks these plates apparently no matter the brightness mobs will not spawn within like about 16 to 10 blocks from them and these these are just regular ones made from the same material except those required obsidian for me to make there are multiple ways to make them uh plates i will show you oh fudge i'll show you see for example the blue zy zy i don't know it's from zy